A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to encourage you today to start to listen to God's Word spoken over you. And I really mean this, folks. If we go to the Word of God, to 1 Kings in the Old Testament, the first book of Kings, chapter 13, you'll see a story there that's quite a sad story. And just to give it to you, you can read it after the program, 1 Kings, chapter 13, this is actually what happened. A prophet came to the king of Israel and he told him very clearly and straightforwardly that his kingdom was going to perish. The king got so angry with him that he st stuck his hand out towards the prophet and his hand became leprous. Okay? And so the king withdrew his hand and he asked the prophet, please restore my hand. The, the prophet prayed again and his hand was restored. And the, the altar was broken in two. This was a man of God, folks. This wasn't a new beginner, a new boy on the block. This man knew God. He was sent by God. The king was so amazed at this prophet. He said, come home with me. I want to feed you. I want to give you something to drink and I want to bless you. You know what the prophet said? He said, my God told me to come here and to warn you, and now I'm returning home. I don't want any of your gifts. I don't want your food. I don't want your accommodation. I'm going home. And with that, he started to leave town. There was another prophet, an old man, heard about this miracle that had taken place, where the king's hand had become leprous, and how the altar had split in two when this prophet spoke over the king of Israel. He sent his sons and he said to his sons, go and find that prophet and bring him home so we can feed him and he can stay here. In fact, folks, he decided to go himself. So the old prophet got on his donkey and he chased after this man of God and he found him on the road going home, being obedient to God. And he said, don't go home, come and stay with me. The prophet said, the Lord told me to come here, deliver a message to the king, and then return. And this other prophet said, no, no, the Lord's told me, and the Bible says in brackets, he lied. He told me to tell you to come home to my house. I'm going to feed you, and you can leave tomorrow. The prophet changed his mind, folks. He disobeyed God, and he went home. He stayed in the prophet's house, and he ate with him. And he slept there, and the next day he left. And as he left, a lion came out of the bush and killed the young prophet. Did not eat him. When, the, when they found the body, the donkey was standing on one side, the lion was standing on other, the other side, and the, the prophet that had been sent by God was lying there, and his body was untouched. That old prophet went and fetched his body and buried him. I don't want to go any further. But I want to tell you something now, folks. And I really mean this with my heart because we love you on this program. Even if I tell you something, if it does not match up with the Word of God, disregard it. I don't care if it's a prophet who's rated in the world. In my opinion, a prophet is there to confirm what God has already told you. That's a good prophet. But if he comes with a totally different message to what God's been telling you, I don't care who he is. Disregard him. You must learn to hear from the Lord. Many people, some of them meaning well, like that old prophet, they think they are helping you and they are leading you in the wrong direction. You need to hear exactly what God tells you and to do exactly what he tells you to do, and then you will succeed. So if, you're, if the prophetic word does not line up with the word God's told you in the Bible, disregard it. So remember, until next time, do what God tells you to do. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.